Hello everyone, bringing you a video today looking at some recently arrived Argentine bits and pieces. These will feature in future videos going forward, obviously looking at them in more detail. So this is just a very quick run through, essentially an unboxing video or the equivalent thereof, to look at what's arrived. So hopefully you'll find this interesting. So quite exciting, I've had three packages arrive from Argentina with various bits of Argentine kit in them. So we're going to open these up. I've got one to here to show you what's arrived. Open these up and have a look at what has arrived. So I'll save you all the noise of the, the unpackaging there. What we have here is an Argentine combat jacket. Now this is the earlier example with the, with the exposed buttons, as you can see. Um, look at this here. See the liner in there? Comes with a, a button-in wool liner. See how that button's in at the sides here. But we're going to have a look at this in more detail at some point going forward. Quite a nice example of the, the combat jacket or combat, combat smock, somewhat based on the USM 1943 uh, suit, combat suit, um, combat clothing. I'm very pleased to have this. It's a nice addition to the collection. I've had, obviously, some other bits and pieces of Argentine kit in the collection previously, so this is a nice addition. It certainly uh, adds something. So that's the, the first thing that's arrived. The second thing which has arrived is an Argentine marine uniform. Now this is a uniform which is, is not really intended as a field uniform but was nevertheless worn during the invasion. We have rank on the pocket here as well which is nice to have. Uh, I wasn't expecting that but that is a, a where Argentine rank was traditionally worn was on the pocket using the, the button there. As you can see it just has a loop underneath, a label in there. So this is something we'll be looking at in more detail on the channel going forward as well. Uh, as I say it's uh, the marine issue jacket, the, the padded uniform for use in the south in colder climes and was used during the invasion uh, of the Falklands. So something we're going to have a look at in more detail as well going forward. So we have the trousers that go with that uniform as well. You can see here. So I'm putting those together, which is good. Oh, we have another, but I wasn't expecting this. I didn't realize that was part of that lot. I already have one of these, but one of the marine cold weather caps made in a similar material. And then we have some more of the Argentine Tempex kit. So we have a pair of the FAL ammunition pouches there. You can see at the back there how they attach to the belt, and then you have hooks here for the suspenders to clip into. So that's nice to have, and another belt, which, have a look at this, does appear to be Falkman's War era. That's surplus to my requirements because I already have one, it's a bit rusty, so I will go with the one I already have and probably move that on at some point. So we have that. A rifle sling, which is basically a US pattern sling made in green leather, as you can see. And then we have a Tempex pistol ammunition pouch. So this would be for Browning magazines. See there. The newer nylon equipment. So there we are. And the final thing to arrive, which I didn't think I was going to be able to cover in this video, but the package arrived the day after all the rest, is this later example of the Argentine combat smock, which has concealed buttons on the pockets. As you can see, and down the front, it's a fly front, concealed buttons, big plastic, heavy duty zip in there. Something we're going to cover in a future video, the lower pockets here. It's very similar to the previous design of combat smock or combat jacket, but it has these concealed buttons. So in a way, it reverts back to closer to the, the sort of progenitor of these, which is the M1943 uh, combat jacket. So that's everything. I say the fourth package did arrive in the end. I'd only got three originally, and this one arrived. Uh, in time for me to edit this into the video. So all the bits and pieces arrived from Argentina, very happy with these, nice to have them, nice addition to the collection and something which will be covered in a future video at some point going forward. So there we are, as I say, that's various bits and pieces of Argentine uniform and kit which have arrived recently. Very pleased with these, the two combat smocks in particular, very nice to have. And as I say, these will be featuring on the channel going forward. If you'd like to see those videos, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, obviously hit the notification button down below as well. But that's everything for this video, so until next time, bye for now.